Yes. You caught me in the middle of my research. And yes, I have made my decision. After contemplating the list, one stood out from the rest. Yes, one clarified, cut through, and captured the essence of my imagination with one single image. The figure I have chosen for the legendary Secret Summer Swap 2024 is the Headsman. Yes. This image right here comes from the amazing variant cover art from Thunderbolts 128, done by the incredible artist Clint Langley. As soon as I saw this, that is all she wrote, my decision was final. Prior to receiving the list, I had no idea who the headsman was. In searching for material, I came across this. The Untold Tales of Spider-Man, number eight, from April 1996, the first appearance of Headsman, a major key comic, impossible to find on eBay for under a dollar. And from what I know, he is an employee of Norman Osborn before Norman Osborn became Green Goblin, therefore sporting a prototype glider along with a backpack-powered vibro-axe type of thing with lights. I have here my trusty official handbook of the Marvel Universe. Inside, I will read to you what the headsman is all about. Real name unrevealed. Yet Earth-616, his name is Cleavon Twain, alias's vassal, identity known to authorities, occupation professional criminal, citizenship USA with a criminal record, place of birth unrevealed, though I think he's from New Orleans, known relatives none, I believe he also has a brother. This book has no idea what it's talking about. Group affiliation, former agent of Norman Osborn. Education unrevealed. First appearance, Untold Tales of Spider-Man number eight, 1996. Now let's delve into a short history. Secretly seeking power and influence in New York's criminal underworld, Wealthy industrialist Norman Osborn used advanced technology to equip the headsman, an axe-wielding criminal operative he had hired unanimously via telephone. As Osborn's agent, the headsman sought to recruit the criminal enforcers and twice fought then-new hero Spider-Man. So this was in the early days of Spider-Man but fled into hiding after Spider-Man disabled his axe. Deciding it was a mistake to waste his power on underlings, Osborn subsequently crafted his own super criminal identity as the Green Goblin. Wanting revenge and trying to restore his reputation, the headsman seemingly slew Spider-Man and used this victory to seek a position with Lucky Lobo's criminal gang. Learning that Spider-Man was still alive, a furious headsman attacked the hero again, while Spider-Man was busy saving young onlookers Liz Allen, Jason Ianello, and Flash Thompson, the Green Goblin covertly assaulted the headsman, denouncing his former henchman as an embarrassment and a liability. 
The goblin destroyed the headsman's high-tech gear and beat him senseless in a matter of seconds, leaving him barely alive. The goblin escaped unseen, but Spider-Man found the fallen headsman and called an ambulance. All righty then. Okay. The headsman, his height is six foot five. Looks like I'll have to use a taller figure. Weight, 291 pounds. So he's on the beefy side, but not too beefy. Eyes, unrevealed. Hair, unrevealed. In Thunderbolts, I believe he has long flowing black locks and a beard. Ex uh, abilities and accessories. A brawny, ruthless, and surprisingly swift physical combatant. Albeit graceless, unimaginative, and ill-tempered. An expert in the use of his custom-made axe. He could charge it with an energy field, enabling its blade to slice effortlessly through most substances including steel, brick, stone, and Spider-Man's webbing. The axe drew its energy from a power pack strapped to his back. Originally connected to the power pack by cable, the axe was later modified so that the pack could power it remotely. He traveled via a one-man airborne platform, which could hover in place or fly at speeds of up to 75 miles per hour. Fail-safes secretly built into the headsman's gear enabled Norman Osborn to fuse its circuitry via remote control. And we got uh, stuff on a scale of 1 to 10 or 1 to 5. I think it's 1 to 5. Intelligence is a 2. Strength is a 3. Speed is a 3. Durability is a 2. Energy protection is a 2. And fighting skills is a 4. Okay, so number one, that image that I was given, I will get as close to that as possible. Also, I'm now contemplating what to use for the figure and how to go about making the accessories. Do I find bits and pieces or forge it? from scratch. Time will tell. But I hope you enjoyed my review. Yes, Marvel's The Headsman. A daunting task. Mm, so now I'm brainstorming. This glider is a prototype, so it should look a bit unfinished, maybe? Hmm. A backpack-powered axe. Very cool looking. To me, he looks like a mix between the Green Goblin and Bane from Batman. Very cool design indeed. I hope that I can bring that coolness into a physical reality. Only time will tell. Stay tuned for chapter three, where I begin the process. Mm-hmm. <laughs>